My name's Luca Manning and I'd like to think that I'm an artist that's constantly evolving, looking for inspiration um, in a range of disciplines and um, across kind of all the arts, all the art forms. I guess I started to think about this as something um, that I saw in a lot of art, other artists that I was inspired by, um, people like Prince and, and Bowie that really um, create immersive experiences as well as like visual artists like Keith Haring and fashion designers like Westwood and McQueen and, and for me working um, with this group of individuals is really um, the beginnings of me trying to bring that into my art form you know I am a singer a songwriter a musician um, but I want to expand and collaborate with a whole range of amazing creative people and that's kind of what I'm, I'm trying to do here. So this project specifically um, involves a bringing together of, of folk that I've collaborated with over um, some over a long period of time, some over a very short period of time and all people that I hope to keep collaborating with in the future. So I guess that's the sort of essence of this project is collaboration. So I brought together quite a special group of people. Um, Fergus McCready on keys is someone that I've um, been a long time collaborator with and, and friend. Um, and then we have David Bowden and Tom Potter, both musicians that I kind of grew up um, playing with on the, the Scottish jazz circuit and look up to. Um, and then I brought in two very, very special guests that are much more recent collaborations in the form of uh, the vocalist Charisse, who's just a dear, dear friend of mine that I really enjoy hearing, such an authentic artist and someone that brings a great energy to everything she does. So it was important to have her on board for this. And uh, lastly, Steph Burrell. And I met Steph um, as a sort of kindred spirit. We actually started speaking while she was away living in Berlin in Mexico, Mexico a few years ago. Um, and we found that we were just totally on the same wavelength creatively. And then when she eventually made it back to London, we um, started working together in this really kind of interesting space where dance meets music and, and jazz and improvisation. And it's something that I think um, really excites both of us and has a lot of potential. So you're getting a little snapshot of, of our growing collaborat collaborative partnership in this project. Musically, this project's been inspired by um, I guess me, my kind of evolution as an artist. So, you know, this is Edinburgh Jazz Festival. So we do have jazz and improvised music at the kind of heart of the set. But it also was really important to me to, um, for the gig to represent what I'm doing at the moment, which is a kind of transitory period where I'm writing a lot of new music and finding a kind of ever-changing and multi-genre artistic voice. And I know that all sounds a bit vague and highbrow, but um, it's important to me that I don't define myself in any one context. I want to have space to, to move and to be malleable. So musically, that's what you're gonna get as part of this gig. And I hope it is still authentic and cohesive because of the people that are involved. You know, they're all people that have a very strong artistic identity to anything they, they do. So, you know, I hope that there is a, a wide style and variety and genre of music, but um, I, I hope that it's um, cohesive because of the people that are playing it. So you can hear some standards and some original music from me, some original music from Charisse, and um, just a couple of great tunes thrown in for good measure. My plans are to continue exploring this, the potential of a project like this, um, working across the arts with people that really inspire me in different disciplines and seeing what kind of, you know, little artistic crevices can be explored within that. So um, yeah, lots of lots of exploring and writing and hopefully some recording too. Stifled by my own silence, my own silence. 